Yeah, hi there. This is uh, tuxohoyo.com and in the, today's little video we want to talk about HDRs from uh, OneRAW or TIFF file respectively. You probably remember this image of the Belgian pub which I used uh, for my article HDR from OneRAW but uh, in today's video I want to show you two alternatives. First of all, Photomatics if you own it, or HDR FX Pro from the Google Nick collections. Okay, let's start with uh, Photomatics uh, Pro. This software has an option to load one RAW file. If we open it and we set this to default to minimize uh, noise and chromatic aberration. It will first convert the raw file and then do those two filters. The um, advantage of Photomatics Pro that you don't need a converted TIFF, you just start out with the raw file and maybe that's an advantage too any uh, development settings applied from Lightroom or Photoshop are not in the raw file. Okay, that's the uh, first result and you will show it up. And that already looks pretty good. If you take a look at the original raw, we just now got details in the bright areas and also details in the inner room of the pub. Of, of course you can apply now the filters or apply another preset like uh, take this one for example maybe that's a bit too colorful for some of you but that's just a matter of taste. Okay so we close this one and make uh, for example the winter image I did here Take again Photomatics and open this image and again he will convert it and do a noise reduction and reduction of chromatic aberration. Okay, here's the second image I did with the Photomatics Pro and this already looks pretty good to me but you if you prefer more neutral image you can apply another filter and of course you can apply the other settings like tonal compression or saturation or other thing. Okay that was basic with the uh, Photomatics Pro. Just open Lightroom and we do the same with the um, Google Nick collection here the HAR FX Pro 2. Maybe a disadvantage is you have to first convert it to a 16-bit TIFF which includes all the de development settings you already applied in Lightroom. Okay, converting to 16-bit TIFF will take a little while. Okay, here is the image in HDR FX Pro 2. Okay, here we go. Just uh, make a full window. Okay, to me this lacks a little bit of contrast, but at least uh, in the highlights and in the dark shadows in the inner room, the result is almost the same. And just like photomatics, you can either apply another one of the presets or apply the correction here in the settings and you even can apply local settings. Okay, let's do the same with the winter image. Just have to export it again to 16-bit. Okay, here's the image in HDR FX Pro 2. Okay, here we got it. Make it full window. And that one looks pretty natural to me. You can either, just like the other image, apply another filter. One of these 
or apply local corrections to the image but I guess this one looks pretty good to me but maybe as I said before that's a matter of taste okay that was a little video with the two alternatives generating a sort of HDR images from one raw or from one TIFF if you don't own a photomatic license maybe you get yourself Google Nick collections they offer a lot of other filters and the HDR FX Pro 2 has a little bit advantage in handling because it can be called from within uh, Lightroom or Photoshop and the Google Nick collections are free of charge. Okay, that was my little video to this topic and I'm looking forward to your comments and of course your questions. Till the next time, ciao, tux auch. Thank you.